In this video, I explain boost pin type flexible coupling. So it is modified form of protected type flange coupling. Here you see the diagram is similar as the protected type flange coupling. In a simple flange coupling, we use the bolt. In a boost pin type flange coupling, the bolt is replaced by using the pin. This type of coupling has a pin and it work as a coupling bolt. The rubber or leather bushes are used over the pin. Now, in this diagram here you see, instance of bolt we use this pin. And on the pin, the rubber or leather bushes are provided to absorb the shock and vibrations. Okay? So, this leather part is insert in this second flange. Okay? So this is the one flange, this is the second flange. The coupling is having two half that are dissimilar in construction as shown in this figure. Means same as the protected type flange coupling, it's have two flanges. Okay. And two flanges are dissimilar. Dissimilar means in a one flange here you see the smaller hole is provided. In a second flange, the hole size is the larger. The pins are rigidly fastened by nuts to one of the flange means on a one of the flange this pin are fastened by using this bolt okay on this pin here you see the thread is already provided okay so this pin are fitted on the one flange by using this bolt so it is called as the fastnet and keep loose on other flange means this part is kept on this second flange means this rubber or leather bushes are loose on this second flange this coupling is used to connect of shaft which having a small parallel misalignments, small angular misalignments and small axial displacement means when axes of the both the shaft are not in a line they have some minor misalignments. The two shaft are at minor angle difference and they have some axial displacement at that time we are used the boost pin type flexible coupling. In this coupling, rubber boost absorb shock and vibrations during the operations. During the operation means when the shaft is rotated, at that time some shock is created, some vibration is created. So this shock and vibrations are absorbed by this rubber. This type of coupling is mostly used to couple an electric motor and machines. So we know that the electric motor is connected with the various machines. Okay. So at that time the boost pin type flexible coupling is used. So thank you for watching this video. If you learn something and like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for BME subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject. I request to visit the playlist.